hope there's Amy. I just know you're gonna hit it off. You both have the same fashion sense. Young Sheldon has more plot holes than a block of Emmental, or Swiss cheese for that matter. And the seventh season is doing its darndest to patch them up. Screen Rant looks at Mima's makeover in the final season and how it conforms with their character on The Big Bang Theory. Yeah, sure. Woohoo! The Big Bang Theory's Mima is not the rebellious, free spirited character of the spin off, but episode seven may have explained away the difference. After Young Sheldon's season six finale saw Mima's house destroyed by a tornado, she doubled down on her attempts to make more money from her illegal gambling room. This came back to bite her in the behind when the police raided the gambling room and caught old Mima, which explains her character change. Oh yeah. In The Big Bang Theory Season 9 Episode 14, the Mima materialization, Mima is portrayed as a certain southern grandmother who initially doesn't approve of Amy. And that's what I was getting into. That's what I was into, you see? This flies in the face of Annie Potts' portrayal of a reckless, risk-loving version of Mima and young Sheldon. Episode 7 finally links both divergent versions of the character, since Mima's arrest may have humbled her and forced her to keep a low profile, as suggested by the final scene in the episode. Yes. It's not yet known whether Mima's calmer attitude was all an act or the result of her being dispirited by the end of her criminal career. Young Sheldon's explanation was a perfect justification for Mima's Big Bang Theory character shift. I know more than you think I do. And that's all we have for you right now. Screen Rant, signing off. Yeah, yeah, go. Thank you.